everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Our Sink and Espresso, a podcast where we're currently not talking about metal music <laughs> and we are drinking coffee. Yes. Um, I am your host, Alice Arsenic. This is my co-host, Josh. And we are in the very beginning of our series reacting to the bands, all of the bands who are performing at the When We Were Young tour coming this October. Um, the last video we put out is reacting to Bright Eyes, their song, um, first day of my life from 2007 and now we are going to react to their latest release which I think is called Haley Haley a lie Haley featuring Phoebe Bridgers um, I'm very curious if it's going to be as melodic and um, right. sweet as the last one let's just jump right in dive right into it alrighty <laughs> From a loose grip Words were missed then Some apology This was released on the 1st of February I didn't want to tell you this right? No, it's just yeah, some so. guy She's been hanging out with I don't know The past couple weeks I guess Thank you and hang up the phone Let the funeral start With the casket closed Let's pin Split black ribbons To our overcoats We'll have to pause from under doors In this house It is kind of weird to me that you have AFI You have 303 even yeah. Jimmy Eat World and a band like Bright Eyes. Yeah. It, is a, it is all over the place. Yeah. Like, this is so mellow. But it, but it accompanies all of, like, the emo genre. It does. Which Absolutely. Is true, right? Absolutely, it does. Um, it, it just lends itself to, like, this is going to be such a weird show. Right. Like, if they're playing at the same time that, like, Knocked Loose is playing. Yeah. It'll be, it'll where, be weird. Where else is that going to happen? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's gonna it's gonna be a very interesting show because I also feel like the people who like this kind of music they like to be able to like vibe with it at a concert, right. and you're not gonna want to have someone uh, next to you slam dancing to a band on another stage. I don't right. know. Well, then they won't be like right next to, you, but like the environment is still the same, right? So yeah. a festival that is catered to bands and fans of bands like this is a different type of festival. And what you would usually see something like Bring Me the Horizon, mm -hmm. Knocked Loose, and A Day to Remember at. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. Very curious. Very curious. This is not my jam, um, but I know you like the indie rock stuff. I um, like indie rock, but I, I, okay. But you don't just put on like an indie rock playlist? I don't. Yeah. I don't. If I want to listen to something super slow and mellow, I listen to Lord Huron or Bon Iver, and that's it. Yeah. And. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really like their sound. I do. It's very easy. <laughs> and I've had a lot of coffee this morning. Right. So, um, but it also, like, the vibe of it just gives me, like, super Beatles inspiration. Like, mm. like I feel I like gotcha. it's really easy to see the, or rather, it's really easy to hear the other musicians that they've taken inspiration from. Yeah. Um, because, you know, they came out along the same lines as, like, Plain White Tees, and you had that... Mm. Like you said, it encompasses the full side of emo right? as well because you have just this kind of like, um, what's the, I mean, it's kind of like that Midwest emo. I don't know. Midwest emo. You know? Yeah. Like it's not full on, it doesn't go as hardcore. It's not real emo. No, 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 no. No, it's just like, it's just, it's softer in the sense of like um, the whole presentation yeah. of the music is more gentle well, i this suppose is, this is why though some like the tiktok stuff is so funny right the um like are the the ones that are like put a finger down challenge um about like emo bands mm -hmm. or like have you ever heard these emos emo bands before like you can't really be an elder emo if you haven't listened to like stuff like this and it just mm -hmm. goes to show like the whole the whole 
Like it's a huge. Yeah, it's a large huge genre. and and companies and encompassing things. Yeah. Um, and if you um are just gatekeeping the genre, like yeah, that's silly. Um, let's finish this. This yes. is a long one. We got three <laughs> and a half minutes still. I don't understand that sound no more. It seems artificial, like a TV set. Also. I mean, lyrically speaking, it is literally polar opposite of first day of my life. Yeah. That's because they're ta they're talking yeah. about now that like their love has yes. fizzled. Yes. And in the last one we watched, everyone was very much in love. So and now not so much. <laughs> Emotional damage. And I remember everything. The words we spoke on freezing South Street All those mornings watching you get ready for school You combed your hair inside the mirror The one you painted blue and glued with jewelry tears Something about those bright colors would always make you feel better But now I speak with the words we say aren't meant for anyone Just a mumbled sentence to a passing acquaintance But there was one scene You said you hate my suffering You understood You take care of me You'd always be there Where are you now? Hello Like, I would rather experience this, like, in a tiny little theater, mm. you know, like, with just a few hundred people, just something like the Sunshine, yeah. you know? Like, looking at, like, the list of bands on here, um, I just, I feel like the, the majority of people are going to be going for stuff that's a lot, I don't want to say heavy, because, like, that's not the case, mm -hmm. but like, but yeah, heavier than. Mm -hmm. Well, because I mean, like thinking, rock, just thinking yeah. about some of the bands that are playing as well. Like Jimmy Eat World is pretty mellow, all things considered. And Berlin, I consider very mellow. I mean, Avril, I consider mellow in in comparison to some of these other bands who are performing. Right. And so, like, are they going to are they going to lump all of these um, less heavy bands? in the same time frame like will you right. be, like will it work will up it, to the heavier stuff like right. is that how it's or gonna will go it be like half you know or will you at least so like if i was planning it i would definitely put some of the the heavier stuff like keep the heavier stuff to like one side mm -hmm. of the the venue per se so that you have all the people that are trying to see those shows just in sort of like that area and then you have the lighter stuff um the more melodic stuff the the poppier stuff sort of on mm -hmm. the other side yeah um because I just and I know like I know it's supposed to be like a large venue and I get that like yeah like festivals like this have been thrown before where you have multiple stages yeah. and multiple bands playing at the same time but like the way my brain sees it happening is like when you're um just like walking down the street and someone has their phone up all the way listening mm -hmm. to whatever they like and you're just trying to focus on whatever it is that you're doing that's like I can't help but feel like that's how it's going to be. Like right. if you're trying to vibe out to this song and you're trying to like feel your emotions yeah. and get all sappy and sad, and you've got um, AFI Miss Murder playing in the background around you, like right. I I don't know. Yeah. I just think I think it would it would take away from the experience of um, a band like this. I don't know. Yeah. That's why I said like I feel like I would rather experience it on that small scale in the Sunshine yeah. Theater. Well and like so for like 250 a ticket right and like looking at all the bands if i was you know going to spend 250 a ticket um 
I wouldn't be going well, me personally, right? Wouldn't be going to go see these guys. Um, but I don't know if like the 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 fans of Bright Eyes mm-hmm. are particularly spending two fifty a ticket just to see Bright Eyes, right? right? You know what I mean? So like, mm-hmm. does it does it pass the vibe check per se? Mm-hmm. And I just don't know. But maybe that's why you know some of the bands are only going to have twenty minute sets, things like mm-hmm. that. I don't know. It might still be awesome. Um, and I'm really really trying not to come across as like hating this band because I understand the sound. It's just not for me, mm-hmm. and I don't understand how it how it's fitting how it, in the lineup. Yeah, how yeah. how it meshes with some of the other bands on there. Yeah, but, I agree. I agree. It'll just it'll just be a very interesting. Not trying to hate. It'll be very interesting to see how it all ends up playing out. Literally. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But I just feel like this is so. It's so mellow. (laughs) It is so mellow, and there's nothing wrong with it. I have super mellow playlists. I like to listen to mellow music a lot, but I just don't see how it fits in this lineup. I feel you. I feel you. All right, keep going. Still a minute. As you tear and tear your hair from roots From that same head you twice removed A lock of hair you said would prove Our love would never die And I sing and sing of awful things The pleasure that my sadness brings As my fingers press against the strings Another clumsy cord a lie, a lie, an awful lie This weight will now be satisfied I'm gonna give you only one It's like, reply. I can vibe to this right. I know not who I am But I talk in the mirror To the stranger that appears Our conversations are circles Always one sided Nothing is clear that we keep coming back to this meaning that I lack. You said these choices were given. Now you must live them or just not live. But do you want that? I like the song, I do. I like the band. I just feel like I feel like the fans of Bright Eyes are going to get physically crushed at this event. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're there to just vibe. Like this Bright Eyes is clearly just a band to vibe to. Uh so I think I'm and I'm gonna interrupt you again and I apologize for it, but I I, I gotta say what's on my mind really quick. I mm-hmm. I feel like um Bright Eyes is not generally a filler band but in this instance they are a filler band Mm -hmm. um and i don't think that they that that's giving them the um what they deserve as a band Mm -hmm. does that make sense um and of course like also with a band like bright eyes like it makes sense to jump on a festival like this because yeah Yeah. more more ears more people like and especially with some of the viral um some of the more viral songs that they've had in the past like mm-hmm. somebody is going to be you know going from one stage to another and be like oh yeah i remember yeah. that song like well and i do I'll, I'll i do feel like for a minute. their sound live will feel very different i think there will have a there will there will be a different energy surrounding it live um mm-hmm. and i think it will be a lot of fun i just think <laughs> you're going to get body slammed by someone while yeah. you're just trying to you know smoke a cigarette and jam out to this i don't yeah. know uh this this reminds me too though of um sharing songs with your sisters like oh my gosh yes, right because this is yes, their vibe they are yes, definitely the indie rock they yes. are the imagine dragons and you know and uh, is it uh, oh god um the knife is or is that the song by, what is the x x x double x is i don't know they listen to a lot of a, really a mellow lot of that stuff indie hipster which is totally fine but it's funny because they'll like put on a song that they love that they are all about and then we're like, Oh, okay. Like it's nice. Right. But then we'll put on some of the stuff that we love and they're like, So when can we turn this off? Cause I don't want to feel angry, right? Yeah. And there's yeah. Very interesting. But that was that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Um 
I I'm stoked uh, for doing uh, the rest of these bands though as well and finding new music and mm-hmm. connecting with old music again. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you guys made it this far, thank you so much uh, for watching I'm the video. I'm shocked if you made it this far. <laughs> Let's be honest. This was this was this was a rough one. Shout outs to everybody who uh, who skipped to the end just so that they could um, hear us promote ourselves. Um, so if you have not checked out the description box below you can check out ways that you can support us and you can also just hit the like button or subscribe if you want to see more content from us in the future we will um, be going through all 60 plus bands um between from now and until the actual festival happens in october so hopefully the next one might be a little bit more exciting <laughs> a little bit more upbeat maybe <laughs> And on that note, we will catch you on the next one. Bye.